my friends, my name is MTRDates, and welcome back to another episode of Tales of Symphonia Remastered for the Nintendo Switch. We're all up last time, we were captured by the Zions and were taken into the Silveron base. And then, uh, our friends came to the rescue, and now we are grouped up together here in Triet. Let's make our way out as uh, we're making our preparations to continuing our journey of world regeneration. We can finally head out to release the seal. Yes, I'll do my best. The seal Remiel spoke of is in the tree at Ruins, southwest of here. Cool, let's go check out that seal. We'll see if that enthusiasm lasts. I'll be fine, just you watch. Oh, I just remembered, let me give you this. We get a monster list. So this tracks data of basically all the monsters that we have encountered. Gathering data on your enemies is useful for protecting the Chosen. I'm going to do it? I'll help too. Just think of it as homework. Ew! Oh man, homework? While we're on a journey of world regeneration? Of course. This is what happens when the teacher is in the team with us. The teacher is going to give us homework while we're on this journey. Like, what's the point, man? Uh, so yeah, now we have a new teammate, which is Rain? Rain? is mainly a healer um as you can as you can probably see if we, if we go to tech real quick as you can see she has first aid but later on uh when she gains levels she's going to be like you'll see that she will have like stat boosting uh skills later on other than the Chosen, our group doesn't look like one that's on a journey to save the world. You still don't trust Lloyd and Genus? They are much too young to bear the fate of the world. I, I think Colette's around the same age as us, am I right? Like, isn't she around the same age? Well, I may be an elf, I'm still a school teacher from a small village, and you're a mercenary who fights for money. Yeah, I think our group of five is kind of an odd pair when you consider all these possibilities. Anyway, let's make our way out. We gotta make our way to the next dungeon. So let's go ahead and make our way out. All right, so in order to get to Tree Roots, it is right over here. How, how nice. Let's go ahead and find an enemy to demonstrate rain. So basically, all you do with rain is just, um, well, you choose someone that you want to heal, really. Um, she's not really good with fighting. Um, so we'll see if I can just, uh, yeah, you, you, you can kind of see, I kind of struggle a little bit trying to take care of a, a very simple snake. But there we go. So yeah, I'm not going to really use rain in battle. I'm just going to hope that Rain does a good job with healing all of our teammates. Ah, so hot. Man, I'm beat. See? You're already worn out. I'm sick of this desert. Help! What's wrong, Noish? Be on your guard. There are enemies about. Don't let up. Oh, great. Alright. Well, so we have uh, these fire element things. They're called elements. And what they do is use magic of whatever element type they are. This is going to be a nuisance. What is? Uh... Nothing. Anyway, it would be a good idea for you to learn techniques to protect yourself. Are you talking about self-defense training? Something like that. Techniques to raise your defense during battles. I'll show you how it's done. Once you grasp the theory, the rest should be easy. Alright, we got Guardian, Damage Guard, and Force Shield. So we just got new moves basically for free. It's really cool. Registering it as a special move or tilting down uh, while holding this will activate it. Ah, okay. Okay, I don't really get it, but I already feel stronger. I can't wait to try it out. 
I think you're just imagining things. Hmm. What happened to Noish? You're right, he's gone. Oh, man, he's run off again. He's probably nervous about the monsters. I think it would be best not to count on Noish in places with monsters around. Wow, cool. You're so strong, Lloyd. Not really. I owe it to you. Not at all. I just stood back and watched. I don't know, man. I saw you do some effort, too. And that's why I can relax and fight. I'll be counting on you for the next one, too. Okay. Alright, let me do this, this, and we're good. Alright. Say, is this the seal? It has my family's crest on it. Fantastic! Look at this slab covering the entrance. It's clearly of a different composition than the surrounding stone. <laughs> it's just as I thought. This is polycarbonate, developed during the ancient war to defend against magic. Oh, feel the smooth surface. It's wondrous! Is she always like this? Is she? Uh, I've been trying so hard to hide it, too. Archaeologi archaeological mania. Hmm? This depression. It reads, Oracle Stone. Colette, place your hand here. That should reveal the entrance. Really? This stone is enchanted with magic designed to identify the Chosen. It opened! Wow! I guess I'm really the Chosen after all! Yes, I think we all know that already! Okay, now it's getting exciting! Let's hurry up and go inside! I hope you'll be able to maintain that enthusiasm. Okay, in we go. So, welcome to Triot Ruins, our next dungeon. So, um, in Triot Ruins, we have a few different ways to go. We have this way, the middle way, and then there's a, a, a other a other side as well. Uh, if you go ahead and break this chest right here, then you can hear some a lemon gel, which is basically a stronger item. Uh, so here's the point where we're getting stronger gels to heal uh, better stats. Uh, because, um, you know, we're further in the game, so we're going to have stronger stats. So you need items that will be able to, to um, maintain those uh, stats. Alright, so let's go ahead and start by going over here first in this room. And in this room... Hey, there's a torch! There was once a city here that was destroyed by Efreet's Hellfire. Try lighting it with fire. Okay. Alright, so you can do that. Um, but uh, there's a few things that you might get yourself screwed out of if you try if you try to do things do something a little bit too early. So we'll see what we can do. Wow, the floor move! Interesting, this location must be connected with every. Hey, right, let's continue to light up all the torches we come across. Okay. So as you can see there's a few there's a couple of chests. So let's see. So killing that enemy gives you a memory gem. You go ahead and light up this torch. Then that platform rises. The same with that one. So that way, when you go to that part of this room, then you can access a higher part. So that's pretty much all you can do in this side. So then if we continue, I think I'm going to save this room for last, because I think that's where we're supposed to go. 
Also, you can use the Sorcerer's Ring on enemies to stun them. That way it's easier to uh, dodge them. You're gonna notice I'm gonna skip over that chest. And let me just say, you don't wanna, you don't wanna know what's in that chest right now. So right here is a bit of a block pushing puzzle. Not really much of a puzzle, because all you gotta do is just push this this way. Uh, so that way you can uh, grab this stiletto. Okay, go ahead and light this. Which will then raise the lower platform upwards. So we can actually explore this part of the room. Okay, so let's see. So you can actually head up the stairs. And... What happens if I like this? Oh shoot. Okay, so I might have messed up because what would happen is if I were to light that torch, I had a feeling this was gonna happen, then this platform would rise up so that way I could open that chest. So now I am base I basically screwed myself out of getting that treasure chest. So, if we go ahead and continue heading the, in the middle section... And it looks like we have ourselves another block-pushing puzzle. Again, not really much of a puzzle, it's really simple. All you gotta do is uh, move this in a way where you can uh, head up this way. You can open up this chest over here and you yourself an apple gel. Make your way around over here. And then we get a bracelet and a life bottle. Which are two items that are going to prove handy. You don't need the other block as you can see. Um, so go ahead and make your way over here. And you get some savory. And um, you can grab a thousand gold. And mume. And so, yeah, it looks like I'm going to be missing out on that chest. On the other hand, if I was able to light the other torch, then you get yourself access to that, to that chest over there. Um, which, I mean, I guess if I had to choose, I guess two chests is better than one chest? I don't know. Um, anyway, you can use this memory seal to activate the save point. Which is convenient, because you probably want to, uh, save. So the Mume I got, um, earlier, I'm gonna equip that on Lloyd. Gonna equip the Bracelet on Rain. And then equip this weapon onto Kratos. And then I got a Cloak earlier, and so I'm gonna give that to Genus. So, if we're ready to go, let's head inside. This place is also built with Magi technology. Absolutely fantastic. Ah, what the? Be careful, everyone. All right, here we go. The, the, this is a really tough fight. Um, so at the end of every... Um, dungeon, you'll be fighting a really tough fight, um, which is, in this case, uh, three of these, uh, oh god, Colette is already down, um, so that means I'm going to go ahead and use a gel to, uh, or a, a life ball to revive Colette, and then, uh, probably heal Colette too, that was going to die right away, this is going to be really bad, okay. Oh god. Okay, so we killed one! That's good! Oh god, I'm not- Oh my gosh. Okay, you know, let's take care of this guy. Uh, since, um, this guy is a little easier to, to, to take care of right now. It's a little fortunate we have two, uh, party members who have first aid 
That way, um, it's much, that way, like, you know, we can use the two of them to heal. Oh gosh, Rain is is in bad shape. Let's go ahead and uh, use the Apple Bill on Rain. Okay, uh, all right. So Rain learns Charge in this in this fight. Oh gosh, I don't like this. Oh no! Oh my gosh, that was. Oh god. Okay, okay. Right. We got we just got we just got this the, the last guy to deal with here. Oh my gosh. Okay, block, maybe. Okay. At least we blocked that attack. Alright, he's gonna attack again. Okay. Yeah, you didn't aim for me. Let's uh, go ahead and keep on aiming. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, oh, shoot. Alright, so, um, you want to make sure that Rain has TP. That way she can use uh, her healing arts. Oh, God! No way! Oh, 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 oh. Life bottle on rain. All right. Thank you for healing me. That is fantastic. Now I'm gonna heal you in return for healing me. Good. All right. All right. Oh god. Should be almost done by now. I think. Yes. There we go. Oh boy. Oh boy. of regeneration. Offer your prayers at the altar. Yes, my lord. O oh, goddess Martell, great protector and nurturer of the earth, grant me thy strength. My dear daughter, you have done well. Thank you, Father. The Guardian of the Seal has fallen, and the first seal has been released. Ifrit will surely awaken soon. In the name of Crucius, I shall grant you the power of the angels. Thank you, my lord. transformation will not be without pain, yet it is but for one night. Be strong and endure. I humbly accept this trial. The next seal lies far to the east, across the sea. Offer your prayers at that altar. Yes, Lord Remuel. I shall await you at the next seal, the Chosen of Regeneration, my beloved daughter Colette. Colette has wings! Uh-huh, and look, I can put them away too. Oh wow, that's so cool! Here, look, look! Said the next place is across the sea. That means we get to sail on a ship. <laughs> I can't wait. A ship? Hmm. I wonder if there are any ships sailing with the way things are right now. We should head to the coast to see what we can find. Okay, you two, we get it already. That's enough. 
wasn't really like she was pretty mediocre uh as far as stats but um now this time around uh clay is actually really good angel wings is a really powerful move and you'll see in uh battle um next time all right so uh i am saving because I actually want to do this. So I actually skipped over th this for a bit. And that's because I wanted to wait until Kala has Angel Feathers in order to have a better chance at succeeding at this. That's right. It is a chest monster. It is very strong. Um, lots of HP, very high attack power. When it does that move, it hurts. All of the attacks, most of the attacks basically hurt. Um, so, um, let's see how this goes. Um, okay, so here's Angel Feathers. Like, oh god! Oh my gosh, dude! Uh -oh. oh no! Oh god! Uh oh. Okay, 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 okay. We can do this, we can do this, we can do this. Oh man. Chess monsters in a lot of um, in uh, a lot of RPGs never fail to prove that they're extremely powerful. At least um, my uh, party members are doing a pretty good job at um, at uh, healing whenever necessary. Oh god! And, and uh, oh no, I'm dead. Please revive me. Okay. Uh, this also means I I also ran out of TP, so I'm always. Oh god. Okay. Okay. Not let. Oh god. No. All right. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Should be almost done by now. I think this is it's actually worth healing Colette as well. So let's go ahead and do that. And we can give uh, Colette some CP. to for her to use Angel Feathers. Oh, please don't interrupt her uh, while she's using Angel Feathers. Yup, there's Angel Feathers. Yes! Oh my goodness. If you th th That fight without her using Angel Feathers is so hard. And for that, we get ourselves a spirit bottle, and a spirit bottle is a really good item. Very rare. Please don't use it right away. Okay, so with that, we are done, so we're out of here. Colette! Are you okay? I'm... Fine. You don't look fine at all. Your face is completely white. It's all my fault. I got carried away and kept making her pull her wings in and out. I don't think that has anything to do with it. Now's not the time for that. Her lips are turning purple. We must get her to a doctor in the city immediately. Wait. It's best not to move her. Why? Remember the angel's words. The angel transformation process requires her to overcome a trial. Rather than taking her to a doctor, it would be best to let her rest here. I'm... okay. I'll be fine after a little rest. I'm sorry to cause so much trouble. Stop apologizing all the time, you dork. It's not as if you can help it. You were suddenly turned into an angel. You're right. I'm sorry. <sighs> well, anyway, let's set up camp before it gets dark. We're camping. Hey, how was the tofu curry? 
it was missing something or it tasted pretty good. I'm gonna say this. I don't like curry. Wow, I'm surprised you noticed, but yeah, I didn't have all the ingredients. What do you mean, surprise? Ah, sir, I mean, I didn't expect you to hear you say that. That's the same thing. It would have been perfect if I had some Kirama fruit. Oh, you're the one that made this? Of course. I thought it was the professor. Oh, will you try my cooking next time, Lloyd? If you want to live, you better not. But it's true. Wait, so rain sucks at cooking? It seems Clutch's feeling better now. Yeah, it looks like becoming an angel is pretty rough. Yes, I wonder if her biological structure is changing. Bio what? Ah, in other words, I wonder if she's becoming a different kind of life form. Um, I don't believe this. I mean, we know what happened in the second game. Emil is Ratatos, but Emil is still Emil. Yes, you're right. You always point out the truth. Ah, well... It's because he lives only by instinct. Your x sphere has an unusual color. It does seem to be a little different from yours and the others. By the way, why do you have an x sphere? I took one from a design. I heard that the designs forced the humans at the ranch to make them. So that's why Marvel had an x sphere too. Is it alright if I ask you something as well? Okay, sure. Why were you raised by a dwarf? Dad found me collapsed in the forest along with Mom and Noish. Although, what really happened was that we were attacked by designs. I see, from the sound of that, your father is probably not alive either. Probably not. So the designs are responsible for the deaths of your parents. Your life has been completely torn apart by them. Huh? Your mother was killed and then you were chased out out of your village. Um... Yeah, I guess you're right. People are hopelessly powerless. Yes, they are, but you can't blame others for that weakness. That's why I'm going to grow stronger. I'm going to become powerful and defeat the Zions. I see that no matter what awaits ahead, you must not forget that, that determination. Why am I talking to you about this anyway? Oh yeah, I know it's kind of late now, but here's your birthday present. Oh no, it's broken. I wonder when it broke. I'm sorry, I'll make you a new one. Thanks. And I'm sorry that I keep causing trouble for you. Don't worry about it. By the way, you haven't been eating at all. Are you still feeling sick? No, I'm fine. I just don't seem to have much of an appetite. Seem? You won't be able to keep up your strength if you don't eat. I know, you're right. <coughs> Lloyd, don't push her. Colette is delicate. Unlike you. Shut it! I'm sorry, Colette. No, no, I'm okay. I'm really sorry for worrying you. I'm gonna go for a little walk. Want me to come? Thanks, but I'll be fine by myself. Ha ha! You got rejected! Hey, shut up, Genus. Ugh. <coughs> What's happening to me? Professor, where are we going next? We should head for Palmacasa. I don't think we're going to find any more clues on this continent. It's the biggest city in the world! The Church of Martel Cathedral is there, and there's a school as well. I'm sure we'll find something there. However, we're going to Pomacasa. We'll have to pass through the Osa Trial. It's not a treacherous trail, but there's no harm in being prepared. Yeah, how about we do some shopping and trip before we go? And uh, that is what I'm going to do. So we're going to go ahead and make our way back to Triot right now. Where is it? Did I just lose it? Okay, no, it's right here. And after that fight, we are back to tree it. I'm exhausted. Let's get to the inn. Genus, you're going to trip. I'm fine. Come on, come on. 
And there he goes. There, you see? You trip easily, so you need to calm down a little. But, no buts. Honestly, that's why I always tell you to be careful. See, you're hurt. It's just a scratch. It's not even bleeding. Quiet. The sands of Tria are very fine. The wound might get infected. Honestly, do you really think you can go on on this journey acting like this? I can't tell if the professor's mad or worried or what. Really? She's caring and gentle. Hmm. It is likely her love for her brother causes her to act like this. Alright, so with that, that is going to be it for this episode of Tale of Symphonia Remastered, and next time we are going to go to the Osa Trail. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.